Okay, guys and girls, come with me a second. What I'd strongly recommend you do is to keep up with your washing up. Okay, always keep up with your washing up. Because if you don't, you'll end up with what I've got, which is basically a game of Jenga. Um, if I need something like a teaspoon, the whole bloody lot could come falling down. You can see somewhere down there there's a teaspoon. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, well, okay. Hmm. Will, like, the world come to an end if I take that teaspoon out? I don't know either. It's all rather complex, really. It sort of, like, spreads all the way over there, you know, just... But either way, I got it all done. Okay, here I am making a variety of chai uh, to my own recipe. This is based upon more herbalism than, you know, a caffeine-containing beverage. And... I'm just showing you what I'm doing because I think it's helpful and I think it's fun, okay? I'm preparing a drink which I'm making myself. I mean, let's just be honest. The principal ingredient in each and every single drink that you make yourself is water. So if you've got access to water, you've got the basic ability to start making a drink. All I've got in this milk saucepan is water, filtered water, okay, and some licorice root so far. Okay, the next ingredient I'm putting in, I mean, that's ginger root. You just want to have a look at that if you want. A piece of fresh ginger root. And a couple of slices of lemon, which I've just sliced up now. So I've just sliced off um, discs. Like that, okay? Of the ginger. One, two, three, four. So I'm now going to slice those up into small bits so it's got more surface area. And I'm going to take the pips out of the lemon. The reason to take the pips out of the lemon is this is all going to be uh, boiled up. And I don't want there to be extracts from the woodiness of the pips getting into the final infusion. Well, sorry, it starts off with a decoction because I'm boiling it. And then it's going to go towards an infusion and I'll show you that stage when it comes. Right, the next ingredient is cloves. And I've got 10 of them there, just going to dump that into the water. So, just doing this off the fly, this is not like a planned video. Oh, I must make a video about me making a hot drink. No, I'm making a hot drink and I decided I'm going to video it. Right. Almost there. Okay. Now, just a question of um, adding some peppermint. I've got some two peppermint tea bags here. I've got a few more in the box, but I'm just going to put two into my teapot. Now one thing I've discovered is that you know I like to use mixed spice. This is some um, ground mixed spice. I don't put it in the water anymore, in the boiling water, because the smells, the flavours comes up far too quick during the boiling and it doesn't have enough time to get into the actual drink I'm making. So I put a few sprinkles of the ground mixed spice into the teapot, which is where the infusion happens rather than there where the decoction happens. Does that make sense? The end result is better. You just have to trust me on that. So just a quick rundown on the ingredients. You've got lemon, you've got cloves, you've got licorice roots, rather a lot of it, okay? All bubbling away in that little saucepan there, little milk saucepan. Smells nice, looks nice, it's gonna be healthy. Uh, in there we've got two peppermint tea bags plus the sprinkle of uh, mixed spice which contains cinnamon, nutmeg and all that kind of Christmassy type flavours. Now the ten cloves, as well as the licorice, has a digestive benefit effect. It doesn't just suddenly turn your digestive system into something which is really rather good, but it does help to uh, work or act against some of the negatives which you may have in your digestive system as we all do because we're humans, we're animals, we're all basically full of all kinds of nasty things. You know, I mean, there's millions of creatures all over us and in us, and that's just the way that life is, okay? So accept that and just do healthy things, because it helps to marginally act against the negatives, so you can then increase the positives in your body. Now, I want to bring this to a gentle boil and hold it there for a while. I don't want to, like, do a total rolling boil and boil out all of the flavors. I want the flavors boiled into the... Uh, the stuff, the decoction-y bit there, rather than, you know, the infusion-y bit there. So I've got my stove dial set to four out of six. 
that's number four, that's six, okay, so it's set on one, two, three, four out of six, which will hopefully be able to maintain this kind of like temperature. That is uh, 97 degrees Celsius at the moment. Okay, so we've held it there for a few minutes. Now it's time to make up a machai. Okay, now I've tipped the ingredients uh, back into the saucepan. I can put that aside, and if I wanted to, I could reuse that later on today uh, to make up another drink. But that will be with fewer of the active ingredients in it, but there will still be some flavour. The pot itself is, I'd say, about three quarters full. Okay. So, one, two, that's the number of sweeteners I like in a mug of this size, or a cup of this size, I should say. Uh, and the next thing to do is to take my, whoops, just get the lid out of the way. Take my hot infusion stroke decoction and pour out half a cup. Lovely color, lovely smell. Remember, it's all like about nutrients, it's all about all the chemicals in it, uh, in all the herbal extracts. Oh, yeah. And now, we can just add a spot of cold water just to make it more drinkable and to make the drink go further. And I'll be drinking this all night whilst I'm watching TV. Okay. So it'll help my digestion, keep me rehydrated, help to kill off some yeast and candida and all that kind of stuff, and provide me with lots of wellness or at least uh, just one more degree in the right direction of health and healing and that's one of the reasons why i like to incorporate this stuff into my life